everyone. I'm Ernie, and I'm so glad you're here with us today. Today, we are at the Stagecoach Laboratory, and we're going to work on some black sand that we got from Gold Canyon last year. We've already cleaned out the larger pieces of gold that was in the black sand, but there was a lot of powder gold that I could not separate, and we're going to get that out with some acaricia today, and let's get to it. Here is our black sand concentrate, and it weighs 67 grams. Now we are going to use this strong magnet, and I put it in this plastic bag, so when the sand sticks to the magnet, I can pull the magnet out, and the sand drops off the plastic bag. We have 56 grams of concentrate to work with. In the black gold pan is the iron that we pulled out of our concentrate and in the green tub is our concentrate. We are going to use 150 milliliters of hydrochloric acid to clean our black sand concentrate. We are going to boil and clean our concentrate for one hour. The hydrochloric acid will clean out some quartz, some ironstone, and other materials that might be in the concentrate. Now we will give our concentrate three thorough rinses to remove all the hydrochloric acid that's in the concentrate. And this is our second rinse. This is our third and final rinse. Now we will clean our concentrate with some HNO3, otherwise known as nitric acid, and distilled water. Now we will wash our concentrate with 50% nitric acid and 50% distilled water, and the nitric acid will remove copper, it will remove silver, and any other base metals that might be in our concentrate. We will do our 50% distilled water and 50% HNO3 wash for one hour. We will follow this step with two rinses.
This will be our second and final rinse. Now we will make our aqua regia solution using 150 milliliters of hydrochloric acid. Now we will use this pipette and add in 3 milliliters of nitric acid. I did add in two more milliliters of nitric acid for a total of five milliliters of nitric acid. I did allow this aquaregia process to boil for one and a half hours and now we are going to pour our aquaregia in our funnel to filter out all the sediments that's in our solution. Now we will denox, otherwise known as neutralize, the aquaregia using sulfamic acid. I will start with two teaspoons of sulfamic acid and I will continue to add some until there is no more reaction from our aquaregia. Now we will filter out our sulfamic acid from our aquaregia. I have 60 milliliters of distilled water heating up and I'm going to use this iron sulfate and mix it into the distilled water and this is what we're going to use to drop the gold out of the aquaregia. I am now going to add in two teaspoons of iron sulfate into our heated 60 milliliters of distilled water and once I mix it up then I will filter it out to get the sediments out of our iron sulfate. Now we will add in our iron sulfate into our aquaregia and begin this process. It's getting a little late, it is 7.30 p.m. and we're going to allow the iron sulfate to drop the gold out of the aquaregia and we'll get back to this in the morning. It is now 9.30 a.m. the following day and our solution has sat overnight for 14 hours. Now we're going to remove the aquaregia and get to our gold drop. 
You can see our gold drop on the bottom of the beaker. We are now going to pour out our acaricia and we will give our gold drop a good rinse in some distilled water. We are now going to pour out our rinse water and then wash our gold drop with some hydrochloric acid. Now we will pour out our hydrochloric wash and rinse our gold drop two times. I don't want to make the rinse redundant, so we're just going to show one rinse, but I did do two rinses in this gold drop. Before we put in our gold drop into our quartz crucible dish, I need to glaze it with some anhydrous borax. Glazing our quartz crucible dish with some borax, it'll help the gold bead from sticking to the crucible dish. It's important to glaze the crucible dish as best you can, especially at the pour spout. Here is our finished product of glazing our quartz crucible dish. Let's get our gold drop into the glazed crucible dish. Here is our gold bead, and I did take a pair of tweezers and pull the gold bead out of the crucible dish and put it in this cupel. And our gold bead weighs 0.196 of a gram. Well, this wraps up this episode of us getting our gold bead out of our black sand from Gold Canyon. And I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, I encourage you to spank that like button and to share this on your channel so others could learn the procedure of getting their gold out of their black sand. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, I would love to encourage you to subscribe and to become part of our AU family. We would love to have you in the family and we would love to communicate with you and we thank you for your support we thank you for being here and we will see you on the next one